everyone sue sparkle here um today i've got um a canvas from wish to show you and also my architect's table that we've just purchased now the canvas is a wish canvas it is a 50 by 70 and i am doing a disclaimer because um some of these canvases uh could be stolen um not to my knowledge but um I am just letting everybody know. Uh, I have got quite a few in my stash that I'll be showing and hopefully nobody is offended um, by this video. Um, so I'll take this off and I'll show you it. Now this is finished. It has also been um, straightened and sprayed. I hope you can see all that. It's still very shiny. Um, I use a spray that comes from the art shed in um, Melbourne and um, I've only given this one coat but I did go over it and straighten the drills I did have problems with this they were popping um, but they seem to be staying down at the moment so it's quite a beautiful um, picture of the three cranes I think it's an artist's impression um, and as I said, there is a disclaimer with this um, and there will be with quite a few others. When I first started Diamond Art, I'd go to a cheap shop and I, I bought one to try, one or two, which I'll show you at a later date. Um, and then we noticed a site called Wish and uh, I purchased quite a few off their site. So that's that one. I hope you all enjoyed that. Now, a few weeks ago, um, I put on some photos. I think it was about three videos back of um, our holiday to Lawn. And while we were in the Lawn, uh, you would have seen on that video, I fed um, the cockatoos that came up onto our patio. And we also took pictures of the waterfall. I hope you enjoyed those. Now, I'm going to tell you just a little bit before I start on the desk, um, the places we did go to and where we stayed. Now, this is the 12 Apostles. Um, actually, there are no longer 12 at the site. Of course, the weather and um, rain and the waves have just worn them away, the rocks. This is a little bit of sand in a bottle with a shell there. So we picked up that and that is a magnet. This is another magnet that we picked up and that just shows you the waterfalls, uh, the 12 apostles, the lighthouse um, along the coastline there. And there's a quail and kangaroo in that picture there. Okay. Now, the Great Ocean Road um, is 243 kilometres long and it's on the Southern Ocean. It's about a nine and a half hour drive um, and the, it is the longest war memorial built by returned World War I soldiers. Approximately 3,000 soldiers that came back um, built this road and for the and the wall was dedicated for those who lost their lives the workers had a really hard time because it was solid rock they probably had picks and shovels maybe some sort of buckets or wheelbarrow um, and they had to move all those rocks away. So they worked an eight-hour day apart from, I think they had half a day off on a Saturday. Um, they were only paid 10 shillings and sixpence for an eight-hour day. So they really had it tough. They lived in um, tents and I think their food came to 10 shillings for the week. So they were left with very little um, money and it was a struggle um, for them I think they would have probably used dynamite to blast the rocks 
uh, and um, it took them quite a while to get that grey ocean road made. Nowadays it gets closed for a bike marathon. Also when there's bushfires they will close the road. Uh, there is numerous towns along the road um, and um, they have rock falls. So they've started putting up big mesh wire from the bottom to the top of um, the side of the um, mountain there, mountains or hills and um, just to protect the vehicles um, that drive past every day and you can see where the rocks have started to come away and they just fall down the netting and they're on on the corner of the road there so yeah it is a beautiful place um, we spent I think it was four nights in lawn I will probably slot a picture up in in this video somewhere to let you see and while we were there, this is our fourth time now, we stay at a place called Chatby Lane Lawn. So these are the apartments and you have a balcony. I think we were probably somewhere around here um, when we stayed. We always stay in the same room and you have got that outlook of the ocean. Um, on a really good clear day from the balcony um, these this is the room that you have you've got your bed table and chairs couch the patio um, and you've also got a tv here and then there's the front door and also an ensuite in and a kitchenette in this corner here um, so that's the business card that they have and it is very enjoyable, very peaceful. Um, I don't think they have uh, children staying at this um, um, bed, bed and breakfast. Um, we usually just have a continental breakfast, uh, but it is, it is a lovely spot to say. So if you're ever in Australia and you want to make a trip down the Great Ocean Road to see... Um, 12 Apostles and all the beaches, um, Apollo Bay is another place we went down to see. As I said, there is a lot of roadworks going on at the moment because they're putting up all this netting, uh, which is takes up about one lane of traffic. So hopefully you'll get there to have a look at that. And we'll put a, another couple of photos or a video into this video everyone we're now in Apollo Bay this is the entrance into Apollo Bay where the beach is behind us in the port of Apollo Bay we're coming around and that's the break wall where all the rocks are and we're going to swing around and this is where the fishing boats and the yachts are all Anchored. These probably go out on a daily basis and then we're coming around and in the far distance you'll be able to see houses and units and that's behind the scrub is the main street uh, where there are quite a few shops and then we're coming around and there's more accommodation, housing, apartments on this side and directly over there is the beach of Apollo Bay very quiet spot beautiful okay I'll, I'll take this off here now. Sure, where I'm going to lay it down. Maybe over there. Okay, now this is the architect's desk. Let me just get my notes back. It is called an artist. A R T I S S. 
and it is sold by Co-Clearance Australia. Now these foam pieces here did not come on on um, the stand. I've just used a foam roller that was on one of the diamond paintings and put a split in it, uh, one of the wish paintings, because this part here is quite rough. And if you're resting your hands for any length of time, it does get quite sore. So I just pop those on, slide it along, and you can slide them either way. It doesn't go the full length of the table, um, and I didn't have a bigger foam roller, so I just move it along. Now it's tempered glass. There is a one year warranty. Um, it has it comes with four casters that lock or there are skid um, feet feet pads so that you could have it on tiles if you'd rather not use the casters it does come with drawers which you're not going to be able to see i have two drawers small drawers on the right hand side and also on the left and on the right we have removable trays which i'll Pull them out they're a heavy plastic sorry for that noise um, room for your pens they don't sit in quite upright um, when the table is at a level so you can have the glass sitting flat or you can bring it up to a high level and it's got a ratchet and it will lock it in place. Each level you go, it locks it in place. To release the lock, you have to raise it right up and then put it back down. If I can, I'll show you how that works. So that's a pen holder. Um, sitting flat, the glass or the table, they would sit flat. But when you're on a lean, they do tend to lean forward a little bit. You have a compartment. You have two here whatever you want to put in there you also have this one here which can be used for your washi tape uh, your tweezers um, they all fit in there quite well so here's the you could even put your um, and your tweezers i probably tend to put the tweezers more in here um, because you don't want to get still put them that way in so you don't get stabbed with them so that's, um, and that is either side and they do remove. I'll take those out. So whether you can see me putting this back in or not, I'm not sure. So that one slots in there. This is another long one um, that you can use for your tools. But again, you've got those two drawers. Now the drawers are a metal frame, but they're like a material uh, fold out with strong cardboard in um, to keep them stay, uh, stable. So I'll put that back in there. So this is the table. Um, now the cost, I think it was about $195. Um, that was with free um, shipping. And of course I got a discount because it was over $200. Um, and the size is 104 centimeters by 60 centimeters. So 104 by 60. And as, as I said, um, it got here, I ordered it, and it was here within three days. Now, if I can move this chair out without knocking the camera, I'm going to be standing up and I'll show you how this glass works. So we pull it up, and you can hear that ratchet going. You get it up to a full height, which is there. And to release it, we just press it back down and it will go to any height that you need. Now you do have to put this together. Um, it didn't come ready-made like this. So you do have to put it all together. Uh, but it was quite easy. It didn't take... Uh, my husband too long it does come with instructions and all the screws and um, there's a shifter and an allen key so i'll just then you can get this so i just thought i'd show you these things today um, 
and I do have a light box that sits on here I've got the plugs down on the floor and the lead is over here so I just tuck this in in there plug it into the light box um, and I do have felt pads under the light box so it's um it seems to be working quite well I have my trestle table full length next to me on this side it does look a bit squashed but um we had the trestle table across the window uh, but I was having to lean over to get everything get the drills and everything so we've changed it and we've brought the table across here um, so that's um, the architect's table and again it was from co-clearance australia they're on an ebay website i did pay 195 plus so many cents for it um, but it, i did get uh, a discount that brought it to that it was over 200 and um, i'm quite happy with it. it's very sturdy doesn't shake around and i love the tempered glass easy to clean and also when my light box goes on it sits about here and here so i haven't done a big diamond painting on this yet um, the painting i'm starting for my next video which actually um, i think i'll be starting it for the next video is a a moment on memory lane which i unboxed um, a couple of days ago so i have kitted all that up all of that's kitted up on this table and um, we'll start on that possibly over the weekend uh, i will be also and i've said this before i think i will be also um, making a video of my portfolios uh, which i will do during the week next week and i'll show you how i put them in the portfolio uh, i've got um, about six that i uh, did the straightening and roll them and sprayed them the other day um, this the spray i will show you in the next video I haven't got that close to me and if I get up now I'm going to probably nudge this camera so that is a mem a moment on memory lane by Chuck Pinson and that's a diamond art club so I think that's about it for today I think we've done um, I've put in everything that I wanted to talk about this um, table did not come with a stand um, so I'm using an office chair which is you can put up or down so it's a good height anyway i hope you're all having a good day um, hit that subscribe button um, and be notified with the bell if another video comes up and if you've got any questions just let me know i'll see if i can answer them for you and i hope you enjoyed this video bye